I'm Cindy from BeDanceWear.com and today in this video we're going to show you how to paint on lace. The reason you'd want to do something like this, it gives it a little extra texture, helps the weight and the flow of it. It's a great look to bring a little dimension to some lace. So one of the ways that you can really change um, fabric and create something a little different. Um, I was in Miami one time and I went into a specialty store and I saw this gorgeous lace top. Uh, it was a bustier. I was trying to figure out where did they get that fabric? And then when I looked closer at it, I realized they had taken lace and puffy paint and created a whole dramatic effect that completely changed the look of it. Um, so I'm going to show you that right now. I've got some puffy paint. You'll want to shake it up. Um, on lace, it's really easy because there's a pattern there, a flow there that you can really see. Um, and just you just emphasize all the little things that are on there. Um, so the first thing we'll do is let's go ahead and squeeze them out. Oh. Let's shake it up a little bit more. You'll see with the puffy paint, there's almost a clear gel if it's not mixed up. So let's see. Okay, there we go. I'm going to use the white on the blue because it'll be really obvious. And then I'll show you the white on the white. I prefer if you're doing blue, shades of blue or something to pull it out. You don't want it to look too hokey. Um, or on white, you can use the white and maybe off-white or pink. Things that really go well together. So what you're going to want to do is find the pattern of the flower. Make sure there is something underneath. The paint will come right through, and you're not going to be able to move this for a little while. Um, so the first thing I would do is puff up the center. And then you make a smaller flower design within the inside of the flower. And I would connect them. Just look at the pattern and figure out what's the flow. What are you... What do you want to emphasize? Now, it looks pretty hokey when it's white on blue, um, but it's a very dramatic effect when you're done. So I will show you with this particular piece of lace um, because it's the same color. So it's going to be more subtle to the eye. And then I would just follow inside these things. And you'll want to make sure it's not all glumpy or lumpy and just follow that. This works really well if you're putting rhinestones in it too. Um, the effect, I never would have thought I would have liked it. But then when you look at that and look at that from a distance, it gives a very different dramatic effect. This is a great little technique to do on lace bras. I would not do it on an entire outfit. It'll make it stiff. It'll make it hard. So if you want the fabric to flow, don't do something like this on it. Um, just go ahead and finish it. And then another great thing is that if you just add a little bit of glitter on top of this, you'll get a nice shimmer and shine. So practice with it on a plate before you actually go do it. If it's the same color and you make a mistake, you could wash it off, but remember to let it dry before you finish. Um, now I'll show you, let's do this. So when I hold it up and you see it there, it's just a slightly different color. So from a distance, you won't understand that it's puffy paint. It'll look more natural. Uh, let's go ahead, if I use some silver glitter, you'll really see the difference. Now on something like this, if I was doing it, I would probably do more of an iridescent glitter. So it all kind of blended in, was a little bit more of a monotone. I'll shake that off. And then see, now you got a little completely different effect. Um, enjoy it. It's easy to do. Don't be intimidated. And there's decorating with puffy paint on lace. Thank you for watching our video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure and click here to subscribe because we're going to have some amazing DIY videos coming out. And if you want to get our free, complete dance costume DIY guide, click right here or go to bedancewear.com slash DIY guide. And lastly, if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching our video, and remember, be original, be colorful, bedancewear.com.